Suella Braverman has uh, infuriated the United Nations and human rights campaigners and Sir Elton John and his husband after declaring the fear of discrimination for being gay or just being a woman uh, isn't reason enough to claim refugee status in the UK. Well, Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser joins us now. Very good morning to you, Good, uh, good morning. Um, well, Sir Elton John is a pretty significant cultural figure and he says that, you know, she's basically legitimising... Um, aggressiveness and discrimination herself. What do you make of her comments? Yeah, I, I wouldn't accept that. I mean, she makes a, a point about the importance of taking people in when they're suffering from persecution, your know, torture, fear of death. And, of course, we must give people a sanctuary uh, when uh, those circumstances are at play. Mm. It's really important that we do that. Uh, but what she was identifying was there was a difference between that and fear of discrimination. And just to understand why uh, the Home Secretary was saying that, it's because hundreds of millions of people fear, uh, might fear discrimination. And what we need to make sure is that those people who are being persecuted uh, can come over here, that, that we uh, make sure that there is sufficient space across the world to take people who are at fear and a risk of losing their lives. Um, and we need to make sure that people take their safe journey here, not uh, come here illegally through uncontrolled routes. You don't think she also made the speech, at least in part, and many observers are saying this on both sides of the divide, uh, as a kind of pitch for the leadership? Uh, well, you will know that the Prime Minister made very clear in December the importance of controlling uncontrolled illegal immigration. You know, he's been working really hard. It's one of his priorities to stop the small boats. You know, and he, uh, together with the Home Secretary, uh, have put in place a number of uh, mechanisms to ensure that uh, uncontrolled uh, immigration through the small boat crossings is stopped. So we've got an, a historic agreement with France that they've both worked on. We've got a returns agreement with Albania, which they have both worked on. And uh, that has ensured that we have got those crossings from the Channel down by 20%. So this is a priority, I know, for the Prime Minister and also for the Home Secretary. Just going back to this, this point of, of what you said about gay people coming mm. here uh, on refugee status, when, when you have got, as Sir Elton John reminded us, 11 countries on the planet where if you are found to be homosexual, you will be executed, and there are other countries where you will be imprisoned if not, if not executed, don't you think what she said about it was a little simplistic? Well, I think if you um, are at risk of persecution and losing your life, uh, then, of course, that puts you into a category of people who need sanctuary. I think what's important... And let's take a step back. Um, the UN have said that 108 million people uh, will have been displaced by 2022. You know, and what we need to ensure is that those people who have been forcibly displaced, you know, who are at risk of losing their lives, get a home. What, what we don't want to do is to take a whole range of people, for example, economic migrants, those people... Um, who aren't suffering uh, risk of loss of life here. So, uh, because what that means is, is a number of things. One is that we can't give sanctuary to those Absolutely. who really but, need it. Yes, I agree. We might give it to the yeah. wrong people. Lucy Fraser, also... can I just ask, but you, you just used the, the figure of 108 million people. We do not have immigration on that scale. I'm not sure why the government keeps mentioning... I mean, Suella Braverman talked about almost 800 million people. In her article in the Daily Mail, she said billions could come here. It is not a fact that that many people try and come to the UK. And, in fact, in terms of um, people from the gay or LGBTQ plus community, it represents 3% of those people seeking or being granted asylum. The numbers are tiny, and by using massive figures, what you do is you create... And this is what Sir Elton John is saying, you legitimise hate and violence. You, you make it a problem which is entirely out of proportion to the facts of the matter. So the figure that I said is a figure that's been put out by the UN. Um, and what uh, the figures are, they are they, what they show is that there is an international problem Most in relation... Most people who are displaced end up in the country next to the country from which they are displaced. They so do a... not end up here in the UK. The numbers are out of proportion to the level of immigration here in the UK. And, in fact, we offer um, legal routes to people. We have immigration of 600 
thousand per year, which is totally legal, and the numbers that we accept and the numbers of illegal migrants is minute. So, so, so many points that to respond to there. Of course, we do have those safe and legal routes, and we absolutely want to ensure that we take people through safe and legal routes. If we have a situation of uncontrolled immigration, it's really difficult uh, for those people who want to come through safe and legal routes. We and and you, you mentioned, yeah. can I just take pick up on yeah. the point you said about coming from different countries? Yeah. So, 45,000 people uh, crossed the channel last year. Yeah. They were in a safe country, that is France, mm -hmm. and it is really important important to identify. Of course, we need to take people who are suffering from persecution, but we, we don't need to take people who are already in safe countries. Well, that's why France the, takes that's many why more people. That takes many more people than we do. I want to ask you about another issue, because um, yesterday on GB News, uh, a journalist was uh, targeted in an interview that was done between Dan Wooten and uh, Lawrence Fox. And the, the, the journalist in particular is called Ava Santina Evans. And Lawrence Fox said to Dan Wooten uh, comments reflecting on what she'd said earlier, but he made comments about her, calling her a little woman. She tweeted, he's just done a whole speech on why men wouldn't go to bed with her. It was a very sexualized, sort of targeted interview. Dan Wooten has apologised, but Ava Santina Evans says, I'm disgusted. Any MPs should come off if they entertain that sort of talk on the channel. I'm just a journalist. No woman's body should be spoken about in that way. Now, just to make the point, GB News is the channel where your deputy chairman, Lee Anderson, has a show and a number of other MPs as well. What did you make of what happened? Uh, well, of course, those comments were unacceptable, as you said, and uh, GB News have apologised for that. We have a regulator. That regulator is Ofcom, and I'm sure that they'll be looking into this. Do you think that um, Conservative MPs should be on news channels, particularly news channels which broadcast that kind of content? Um, so, I think... Uh, so. <laughs> As I've said, it was a, an inappropriate comment. We have uh, a regulator, Ofcom, uh, who regulates these sorts of things. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there are a number of issues I know that uh, a number of channels are looking into at the moment. Yes, and, that's, not, uh, that's, that's not answering the question, is it? The, the, I, well, the, the, the question is, do you think that, uh, that serving MPs should be on news channels like GB News? It's a simple yes or no. Well, the, the, uh, yes, because there is a broadcasting code which identifies the rules of broadcasting and that does uh, allow uh, presenters uh, who are MPs to take yeah, part it, in, in current affairs programmes. There are specific issues that have been taken to Ofcom in relation to particular programmes mm. and I know that Ofcom uh, is uh, making... Um, is, is coming to conclusions on those particular issues. But if GB News continues to break the code, do you think it should be shut down? Uh, well, uh, those, are, those are issues from... Uh, those are issues for Ofcom. Uh, I know that there are a number of issues in a range of broadcasters at the moment, and I don't think all those broadcasters should be shut down because there are issues. We have a regulator who regulates these programmes, who will identify what the answers are and there, were, there are consequences in relation yeah. uh, I'm to not the breach so Just this. to make the point, I'm not suggesting GB News should be shut down. Uh, what I'm asking, no, what am I in partic asking in particular is whether the Deputy Chairman of the Conservative Party should consider his position on a channel which has spoken about a female journalist in that way. Well, I think I, I've made my position clear that those... Uh, comments were uh, inappropriate and unacceptable. I'm pleased that the channel has uh, apologised and I know that Ofcom uh, will be looking into this. All right. Thank you very much indeed for your time this morning.